Okay, so I started the recording. Yes. So whenever we are studying about the projection of planes, we will restrict to the of figures or objects which are having a nature of the planes and we do not have any thickness. Okay. So what type of planes we are going to consider? So whenever we are going to consider the planes, we will restrict our planes to the first quadrant only. So as we have discussed about the projection of points and lines for the SEO 2020 pattern, all the quadrants the line will be contained into. But whereas SEO 23 pattern, we have restricted the lines only to the first quadrant, right? So the planes will be either will be placed in the VP or will be placed in the HP and then will be inclined to the other plane. <coughs> so what does it mean? The plane will be placed on one particular plane and it will be inclined to the other plane and, co uh, and accordingly it will be perpendicular to one plane inclined to other. I will discuss about this more. Sir, Aditya is telling that he is not able to join. Okay. Uh, he is getting the message you can't join this video call. Uh, probably he might uh, be how to use Somaya ID. Yes, because this limited to only Somaya students, probably. Yes, sir, I have told him. Okay. So now, whenever we discuss of planes, what type of planes we are interested into? So as far as syllabus is concerned, we have a triangular objects, which are, which could be scalar triangle, equilateral triangle, and isoscalar triangle, right? It could also include right angle triangle. Then we will have a square, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon, and circular planes. Circular planes, it could include semicircle, right? And we will restrict to one reference plane inclination and perpendicular to the other plane. Okay. So as far as this is concerned, before we proceed to the questions. We will go through the how do we draw these objects that is triangle, square, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon, and circle. Okay. So for that, we will shift to the AutoCAD. Okay. So let us switch it on to the AutoCAD mode. Are you able to see the AutoCAD screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, this is a typical AutoCAD screen in which uh, we will be going through this draw toolbar first and then, then as per the need, we will go through this modify. So how do we draw a triangle? Okay. So for drawing a triangle, what we need? We need to understand what type of triangle it is. Okay. So let us take a very simple triangle. Okay. So I can take the command which is called as polygon, right? For a triangle, how many sides it will have? Three. Okay. So three. I will enter, right? Then it will ask you, you can always look for this polygon, uh, sorry, this command line in which it is asking you what is the center of polygon. Now, instead of center of polygon, we will have to select the edge. Okay. So now it is asking you what is the end point of the edge. Let us click on somewhere on the screen, right? Like this. Okay. And once we have decided with the correct orientation, how we can change the orientation? By just moving a mouse. Currently, my ortho mode is not on. So 
if I switch it off the ortho mode, you understand ortho? This command line, uh, this is the shortcut to switch it on the ortho mode. Once it is highlighted with the blue color, we can see the command is on. Otherwise, it will be off. You can see this. We can change the orientation as per the need. Right? It will take only four orientations because ortho mode is on. Now, once we have decided with the correct orientation, we will type what is the size. Then let us say 30 here. Then 30, enter. In this way, the triangle will get created. So this was what type of triangle? Equilateral triangle. Now, let us see wanted to have a isoscalar triangle of side 30 and the uh, distance between the two perpendicular side, let us say 50. So for that, I will take a line of 30 mm first here, enter. And I wanted to have a perpendicular distance from the center of this, suppose 50. So what I will do here, I need to go to the midpoint. And how do I access the midpoint of any given figure? Go to the OSNAP settings, select the midpoint option, then you will be able to access the midpoint option. Then you click it on this. So I will type the say 50, enter. Right? So this is the altitude of the isoscalar triangle. Then you connect this to the apex. In this way, you can see that isoscalar triangle is created. Okay? Getting? Now let us say you wanted to create a scalar triangle having the side of base 30, another side is 40, and the next side is, next side is 50. So how you can create? Just I am taking a random example. 30, 40, 50 is a side of scalar triangle. So let us take this one side as a suppose 40. Okay. Now we have one side as 30, another side as 50. Okay. So for that, there are two methods. First, I can take a circle, taking this as a point, and I will take a radius of 30 here. Okay. Then on this edge, I will be able to intersect another circle starting with this another point as a center. So here I will taking a radius of 50. Enter. Right. So this is the point of intersection where I will be joining the points. You might have to zoom in and this. In this way, I'm getting a triangle. Now, once I get the triangle, I can delete this circles, which were used for drawing the triangle. In this way, we can produce a scalar triangle. Okay. Is, is it clear? Hello? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Now, circle is very simple. Just take a uh, center, type a radius. Suppose we wanted to have a circle of radius 30, enter 30. This is how the circle will get created. Okay. Now, let us proceed. How do we draw the pentagon? Okay. Because many times the pentagon question may ask in the exam and square also. So, we will first proceed for the square. The number of sides the square will have four. Enter. Then, instead of selecting the center of polygon, we will select here as the edge, right? Then we will click it on the that particular uh, edge, one edge, right? And we will type suppose forty. Once we decided where we wanted to put the square onto the screen. Right and enter. In this way, the square of side 40 is created. Okay. Now let us take the pentagon. The number of sides the pentagon will have five. Right. Again, here we will not be selecting a center of polygon, we will be selecting an edge. Right. And let us select the first point of the edge. Now you can see the pentagon will appear. Now we will have to ensure whether the Correct orientation is displayed on the screen. If it is not, we will have to 
rotate the box. Now you might notice that it is taking only four orientations possible because all the board is wrong. Correct. Now once we have decided this is the correct orientation, type what is the side of the pole pentagon? That is, let us say, take 40. Enter. Okay. In this way, the pentagon is get created. And using the same command, you can create a pentagon. So for which number of sides will be six. Correct. Now for a pentagon, uh, we have selected the edge. Now for hexagon, you can use any one of the method. Either you can take this uh, center of polygon or edge. Okay, I will select the edge first and I will tell you how it will be displayed. Okay, suppose we take this, right? And suppose I type 30. Right. This is the one particular type of orientation for hexagon. If I repeat the command, right? Number of sides again, I am sticking 6. Instead of center of polygon, I am selecting the edge, right? Now I, I type it here. Now you can see what is the change. You can see there is a change in the orientation of the hexagon, correct? So what is the difference between the two? I will tell you. Suppose the side is 30. You can see that this particular hexagon is to be used when the side of so whenever the two sides of the hexagon are perpendicular. To the horizontal plane or vertical plane will be discussed later uh, based on in which order it is. That is whether this pentagon hexagon is placed either in the horizontal plane, right? Suppose here is a line. I take the example typical. This is a line, right? This x y is the line, and this both the hexagons are lying on a horizontal plane. Now, in that case. These two sides of a hexagon are lying on a horizontal plane. So these two sides will be perpendicular to vertical plane. Isn't it? Considering this is x, y line, this will be vertical plane and this will be horizontal plane. So these two sides are perpendicular to vertical plane. Yes. Are you this? Hello. Yes, sir. No, understood. And if you look at this orientation, these two opposite sides are oriented in such a way that these two sides are parallel to the vertical plane. Correct? So, based on the given question, we will have to draw either this hexagon or this type of hexagon. Okay? We will discuss about it later. Okay? Getting this? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, we will have to also give the naming to this. I will discuss about the annotations in the new course. Okay. So let us look at the first question in which I have considered the rectangular plate. We will draw the x, y line. What is mentioned in the question? The rectangular plane A, B, C, D. Having length 60, breadth 40 is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP and PP. PP means profile plane. If the plane is 10 mm above the HP and one of the longest side AD is 20 mm in front of the VP. Okay, draw the projections of the plane. So for such a question, first understand what is given. Right, and what type of object is then you start for the drawing. Okay, so it is mentioned it is a rectangular plane. They have also mentioned what are the sides you should name it as A, B, C, D. Okay, they have mentioned what is the length which is 60 mm. Right, they have also mentioned what is the width of the this rectangular plane which is 40 mm. Then, what is mentioned it is parallel to VP. Oh, sorry, it is parallel to HP. Right, so the pentagon is placed in such a way that the pentagon is parallel to HP. So it is placed here such a way that it is parallel to HP and it is perpendicular to VP. What does it mean? Right, if I show you the three dimension figure for it, so 
for that uh, i will move this look at this it is a one plane hmm. let us assume this is one inclined plane okay. another plane i will draw it okay. so i have created one box okay in reference to this box i will tell you how it should be placed Right. Let us assume this is a vertical plane. I will clearly draw the vertical plane here so that you will understand. So let us assume this is vertical plane and this is horizontal plane. Now the rectangular plate is drawn in such a way that it is having a length 60. Enter right. Then its breadth is 40. Are you getting this? How it is placed? Yes, sir. So, if you look at this diagram, what it shows? This rectangular plane is parallel to the horizontal plane and perpendicular to the vertical plane, right? As well as it will be perpendicular to the profile plane, the plane which is perpendicular to this vertical as well as horizontal. Currently, don't focus on this particular uh, this profile plane. Okay. Now. What is mentioned next? If the plane is 10 mm above HP, what is the position of this plane? It is 10 mm above. For which plane? Horizontal plane, right? And what I have mentioned? At what distance this longest side AD? Let us uh, assume the name of this plane as ABCD. This is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. So in, they have mentioned that the longest side AD. Which could be either this or this, it is 20 mm in front. Okay. Are you getting this? 20 mm in front means what? This plane will be at a distance of 20 mm from this vertical plane. Okay. So now the question is where we should start with. Okay. Are you getting this? How do we start? As it is mentioned that this plane is parallel to VP. So if the plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular uh, parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP, we see that we see the uh, rectangle as its true shape on the horizontal plane. Are you getting this? If you look at it from top, we see that the whole rectangle having the same dimensions that is length is 60. Breadth is 40 will be projected on the horizontal plane. Are you getting this? Sir, I have a doubt. Tha. Now, in the question, it is given that um, rectangular plane is parallel chal rahe for horizontal plane and it is ver vertical for uh, the vertical plane, so it is perpendicular. Correct. But if you see, ki, like in a way, isn't it perpendicular to vertical plane also? Like if you see from that angle, yes, it is perpendicular to vertical plane, but uh, this this is placed in such a way that it is parallel to horizontal plane, correct? So if it is parallel to horizontal plane, yes, right? So we, whenever we will look it from the top side, that is above it, right? We will be seeing the true shape of the rectangle that having the same mm. dimensions, right? True. So we should be able to draw the 
rectangle okay, below the xy line are you getting this okay so we will be drawing a rectangle of size 60 by 40 below the xy okay and how we will be drawing by taking the specific distance what specific distance we are going to take this rectangle plate is 10 mm above this xy right so whenever we will draw this rectangle on the horizontal plane we will keep a distance of 20 mm from this xy i will start drawing so you will understand in course okay look at this i am taking the rectangle i can draw the rectangle using the polygon command also or i can take the rectangle directly okay so switch it on the ortho mode right i will take this 20 mm distance first for using a line command for that i can use the offset can you see this offset this command yes sir yes yes sir enter yes why have taken the 20 mm because this rectangle is 20 mm in front of the xy line okay so now i will name this line as xy using the multi line text x let us take it as distance of y into width Which you have done the body required. Okay. Copy this side on the other side. I name it as Y. Double click and just type Y in this way. Okay. Now the distance between these two lines is how much? Twenty. Twenty. Here, okay. Now I will take a rectangle which will coincide with this. Okay, having a length as sixty. Okay, and what is the other side? Forty. In this way. Now I started with. I will reproduce again here. I will show you. Take this uh, random point here. Right, type six zero and forty. Okay, it will create a rectangle of length sixty and width forty. Okay, now why I have taken this twenty mm distance? Because it is mentioned that one of the longest side AD is twenty mm in front. Now where do we see the in front distance? In front distance is always located in the reference to the x y below. Right. So, in front distance will be observed whenever we are looking from the top of the object. Okay, and this distance will be always located below the x y line in front distance. Okay, getting this in front distance will be always needed to be drawn below the x y, and above the h p distance will be always with reference to x y above this line. So. For this moment, I am deleting this line which I have taken for reference. Now, I will name this rectangle. So for that, I will copy these annotations. Okay. So, okay. So we will name it as A. This will be B. This will be C, and this will be D. Okay. So what is mentioned in the question? It is mentioned that the plane is 10 mm above the HP. So for that, what we will do? We will project it till x y. Let's switch it to on the ortho mode like this, right? 
and we will go above by 10 mm distance like this. Okay, here also we will go above by 10 mm. Right, and we will join the line. So, what does it mean? If you look at this figure, right, this is uh, in the three dimension space. We see that this pentagonal plate, uh, sorry, this rectangular plate is 10 mm above in reference to the horizontal plane and 20 mm in front, right? So, in such case, we will have to draw the two shape first. Two shape means of regular signs in the plane it should appear so we see that whenever we look at from the top side we see that the rectangle will appear as of this two shape for this case that's why we need to draw it on the horizontal plane if you look at from top you will see the rectangle as it is of the given dimensions of the horizontal plane and at the same time whenever we draw this rectangle we see that this longest edge, which is mentioned in the question, should be 20 mm in front. So we have taken this distance 20 mm in front, right? And they also mentioned that what is the distance of this rectangular plane from the horizontal plane, which should be 10 mm above. So we have drawn this as 10 mm above. Okay. Look at this. Okay. So now we should make it as thick. How we should make it as thick? I have taken this bilayer with the line thickness 0 0.09. Then I can take this line thickness as 0 0.3. Then switch it on this line with display mode. That we can make it thick. Okay. Same. I will select mesh properties for this. This is nothing but whenever we look at this rectangle from this side, which is the uh, towards the object, right? From the observer side, we see that the rectangle will be observed as light. Are you okay with this? Are you getting this? If you look at from this side, as this rectangular plate is perpendicular to the vertical plane, we see this edge only. We won't be able to see how much is the depth. We see only a line wherever we look at from a plane perpendicular in the observer's direction to the vertical plane. Are you getting this? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. So, we see that now, this is a point which is we get it by overlapping of the A and B. So, we will name it as A dash comma B dash. Why A dash? Because whenever the point is above the X, Y line, we name it as with the dash. Correct. So a dash comma a dash comma b dash. Correct. Similarly, this point will be now c dash comma d dash. Correct. In this way. So we can call it this as the first question. But such type of question won't be coming in exam because in this case, uh, the plane is or the rectangular plate is perpendicular to one plane and parallel to another. Whatever question the exam will contain, it will contain this plate is perpendicular to one plane. Let us assume in this case is a vertical plane and will be inclined to the other plane. Right? So this plate will be needed to be inclined to the other plane. In that case, we will be drawing the true shape in that particular plane to which it is making inclination first. Right? Suppose this plate is making inclination with respect to HP, then we will draw this rectangular true shape in the HP and then we will make it incline. Okay? Are you getting this? Suppose this plate is making inclination with respect to HP by let us say 30 degree, right? So to the plane which is making an inclination in the same plane, that is horizontal plane, we will be drawing the true shape of the object. Okay. So now let us look at the real question which could be asked in the exam. Okay. So let us take an example of a square. 
when I'm taking the x y line. Okay. If you read the question, what is mentioned in a question? A square ABCD with sides 40 has its surface inclined to or inclined at an angle 45 degree with the HP and perpendicular to VP. Correct? It is mentioned in the question. So, also it is mentioned that that the one of the sides of the square plane is in the HP. So, how it is needs to be placed? A square ABCD can be shown by the two ways, right? Suppose this is the one way, right? And another orientation this square will have. If you rotate this, suppose by 45 degree. So, this is the one orientation, right? What is the other orientation? All sides suppose 40. Right? I need to take a polygon in that case. This is the these are the two possible orientations for square. Now we need to decide which one is correct. Okay. Whether this is the correct orientation for us, let us move it in the one particular corner. Okay. Or this is the correct orientation. Now, what is mentioned? It is inclined at 45 degree to the HP. So, whenever the plane is inclined to one particular plane, to draw that true shape of the object in that particular plane. So, what does it mean? We should have to draw the true shape of the square in the horizontal plane itself. Okay, so now once we have decided that the true shape is to be drawn in the horizontal plane only, then how it should orient, right? It is mentioned that sir, that the one of the sides of the square plane is in the HP, right? So we can see that this is the side, this one edge of the square will be remaining in the horizontal plane even if we incline this plane, right? That's why this is to be drawn like this. Now what would happen if we draw it like this? This will be the case whenever the corner of the square will be in the horizontal plane. That's why this is not the correct orientation for us. Are you getting this? Why it is not? And why this is correct orientation? Sir, can you explain once more? Yes. What is mentioned here? Are we able to understand this? Why we need to place this square either of these two of the horizontal plane? Because it is mentioned, it is making right. inclination with HP only. Okay. Right? So, as the angle is going to be HP, draw the true shape in the HP. That's the first case. Whenever the inclination is given. Okay? Now, the second question. What is mentioned? One of the side of the square plane is in the HP. So, if we keep the square orientation like this, right? In that case, the square will be resting on one of the corner in the HP rather than on the side. Whereas, if you keep the square here, the side of the square will be still in the HP. So, that's why this is the correct orientation as per the need. Uh, sir, okay. could you please explain that angle part again? Like, yes. in the first case, it was inclined at 45 degree with the HP. But in the second case, I'm not understanding exactly. Ah, yes. This first part is to understand, right? Uh, let us draw one. I will draw one plane, or I will have to switch it on the camera. You will understand. Wait.
you will be able to understand it better if I show it with some example. Okay. Are you able to see this? These are the plane. Okay. And let us this at the square. No, sir, I'm not able to see. Are you? I'm not able to see you. Yes, sir. Now it's okay. Okay, okay. Let us assume this at a square. What I'm telling you that this is a square plane, right? Correct. It is making multi. Firstly, if I place it like this, this square plane is parallel to horizontal plane, right? And perpendicular. Yes. Plane, correct. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Now, I incline this. Okay. So now you can easily see that this square plane is inclined with respect to which plane? Horizontal and it is perpendicular to the vertical. Correct? Are you getting this? Correct. Okay. Yes, sir. So as the plane is inclined to the horizontal, we need to draw that plane first in the horizontal plane. This is very much clear, I think. Now, why the side is needed to be drawn? So we need to have look for the what is the correct orientation, first one or second one. You can see that. So your video was stuck actually. Sorry. Your video was stuck in between. Okay, video stuck. Okay. Okay. Says. So whenever I place it like this, don't you see the edge of the square plane is on the horizontal plane? One of the side of the yes. Square is on the horizontal, right? Now, if I place it like this, are you able to see this? If I place it, like yes, this, sir. So in that case, the one of the corner of the square plane will be the HP. That's why we will have to take the second case in our example. Look at this. This square plane, I have holded it like this. So it is resting on the corner. Right? And still it is making inclination with respect to horizontal. But now, if I let my square to rest on horizontal plane on edge like this, which is satisfying the given conditions in the problem. Right? So first we will draw this two shape here. And then we will make it inclined like this. Getting? Yes. Understood, sir. Understood. Devastating. I hope she has also understood. Okay. So now, look at this. How do we draw? I just move this or redraw so that you will understand it. How to draw again? Polygon, number of sides 4, enter. Right? Now, in this case, it is not mentioned that it is in front or how much distance it is above. So, just take a suitable distance from the XY and place it. Right? So, I will keep it the age option here. Right? I will take the orientation so that it is lying below. I will type 40 here, enter. Right? Now, we will name it. For naming, I can copy this X. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So, this is point A. This is point B. This is point C and this is point D. Okay. Now, what we will have to do, we will have to project it upwards, switch it on the ortho mode again, till the XY will project. Okay. Now, as it is not mentioned anything, where we are going to project this, we will directly project it on the XY line. Okay. Notice this. So, we'll draw one more line which will be joining this. Okay. 
and this intersection which is overlapping with the xy will be obtained through the points a and b and c and d on the other side so we will copy this a and we will rename it as a dash comma b dash okay right we will copy this and we will rename it as c dash and d dash now select this square switch it on the or change the line thickness to 0.3 and make sure the line weights are on okay in particularly planes problem this is very crucial to switch it on the line weights because uh, if your projection is overlapping with the xy and if you are not keeping the line weights on you will not be able to place it properly in the next stage okay so now i am keeping the match properties of this line and selecting it here okay getting this now as per the question we need to make the surface incline at 45 so what is the process to be followed look at this make a rectangle with the help of highlights like this moving about okay select everything just copy it and move it like this at suitable place from the original object okay in that case if it is facing to the some nearer you can see this midpoint option came still it is okay okay like this right if the o snap option is on it might fetch you your object to a nearest place or exactly overlapping with that particular point in that case since what i'm trying to mean you copy right i can place it here right or i can switch it off the o snap while placing if i switch it off the o snap you can see that the midpoint option which was appearing on screen is now disappeared okay so it is better to have a o snap switch off whenever you are placing the object click it whenever you find out that this is the suitable location okay done able to understood hello yes sir oh. yes sir ha huh, yes we need to make it inclined by 45 so select this object again click on the rotate and again switch it on the o snap and click on the point okay now what is the inclination required 45 with just type 45 okay you can see that this line will get inclined by 45 degree okay just i'm moving this rotation slightly upwards okay and what do i need to do moving instead of moving i created copy okay now from these two points i i'm still keeping the bilayer 0.09 so that the line thickness will be properly maintained see this i'm taking the vertical projections switch it on the ortho mode right like this you can extend it if required slightly extended i have drawn then from the c dash d dash also i will draw this extended line okay these are the projectors i have drawn from the a dash b dash and c dash d dash now these projectors are needed to be intersected with projectors obtained from a dash d dash like this okay and from this okay now you can easily see that this is a projector obtained from ad this is a projector obtained from ab so this point will be which one A, correct. Look at this projector obtained from A D, projector obtained from A dash B dash. So what is the common point? A obtained from A D, obtained from A B. Common point is A, correct. So this point will be A. Are you getting this? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Similarly, this line is obtained from B, comma C, 
right? And this line is obtained from AB. So what is the common point here? BC and AB. B point. BB. Yes, correct. This will be B point. Okay. Similarly, this line is obtained from CD and this line is obtained from BC. What is the common point? C. Correct? C. Yes. So this is a point C. Similarly, this is line obtained from CD. This is obtained from AD. The common point will be D. 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 Yes. Now, what we will do? We will draw one more line here, overlapping. Join in the sequence. Okay. Then select this, or we can select this ABCD original square. Select the match properties. Make it like this. Sir, have you overlapping lines you draw here? Like, is it necessary? Yes. Otherwise, I will have to trim it off. Let's go. If I wanted to match properties like this, uh, and I'm doing undo. Yes, uh, redo. Okay. So I wanted to only join the lines between A, B, C, and D. So currently, look at this. I have the one one extended line which is crossing this line okay so i wanted to join yes. ABCD. so what is better option then the remainder of the lines so that you can have lines only between a b b c c d and a d correct correct that's why i overlap otherwise there are multiple options also but this is the simplest option i found okay sir so select this overlap. Okay. Now just show the angle how much it is by taking this option angular. Okay. Then what is the side of this? Okay. Done. You will get 10 out of 10. Okay, just you can write down if you want true shape of the plate and you can see apparent shape. Here we can write down or you can skip. Okay, okay sir. Yes. This is very similar to the other problem. I will take this isoscalus. In this case, the inclination is not given. So this could be a typical problem. Isoscalar triangular plate 50 mm, 75 mm multitude appears as equilateral triangle of 50 mm in the top view. Draw the projection of plate if 50 mm long gauge is on the HP. Again, I will uh, switch it on my camera so that you will understand. What is mentioned here? Triangular plate, 50 mm side, and 75 altitude, having one of the edge as 50. Assume that this is triangle. Okay. So what is mentioned in the triangle? This edge. Which edge? This age is given of side, let us say 50, and let us assume that this is a connecting to the apex. Okay, targeting this is a connected to the one apex, and what they have given, they have given the distance between this apex and this side, so they have given this altitude. Okay, assuming this other triangle. Okay, targeting this, so this side is mentioned. And the distance between this side and the apex is mentioned, which is the altitude in this case. And what is mentioned next? Mentioned is that equilateral triangle of 50 mm in the top view. So, whenever this triangular plate is placed in such a way that this point is placed from this edge in such a way that this side 50 from this apex to this distance is also 50 and apex to this distance is also 50. Then we see that 
it's a equilateral triangle are you getting this hello yes sir okay so how do we proceed it so we see that this equilateral triangle in the horizontal plane so we need to draw the isosceles triangular plane of the given dimensions in the horizontal plane itself then only we can see that equilateral triangle of 15 in the top view okay we can find out what is the inclination it is making wait for a moment okay so we draw a triangle for triangle we will need to draw a base so let us we take this 50 okay now how do we take the 50, 75 we take the midpoint of the side we take it here as 75 enter we join this in this way okay just find out what is the dimensions okay that is get it so now i am uh, making this what is the thick in this way we have created a Isosceles triangle having the side is fifty and the altitude is seventy five. We can name this okay. There are two methods. We can create a text on the other side and just copy paste it here. I will tell you that method later. A. Okay. Always increase the size of the text. Let us say five. Okay. Copy this. This point is B. And let us say copy it here. So this point will be C. Okay. B. C. Okay. Now I project it. Switch it on the ortho because initially you might not be comfortable without switch it on the ortho to draw the exact vertical line like this. So always better. Okay. Now this A B and C we will be obtaining on the X Y. We join one more line, which is between the projectors, like this. Okay. Now select this. Edge match properties, and select this. Now what is it? This projector, or this point is projected from A comma B. So we'll call it as A dash comma B dash, isn't it? Right. Whereas this point is obtained from only C, so we will call it as C dash. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now, what is mentioned? It is mentioned that draw the projections of plate if 50 mm log inch is on the HP. So we see that it should be still on HP while. So its apex needed to be made inclined in such a way that we see a uh, equilateral triangle of side fifty. For that, what we will do? Look at. We will project this horizontally like this. Don't know what is the length, so we'll just project it. Right. Right. Now what we will do? We will copy this 
a dash comma b dash comma c dash right copy we will switch it off the post snap as i suggested you earlier or uh, we first take a point a dash b dash and then while moving you switch it off the post snap and while moving i have already kept the ortho mode on right so that whenever you are copying it will be still on the xy line alignment will be made on the xy don't forget this okay so once you find out a suitable location at uh, distance from the original object you place and click on the left click now what i want if i take a projection from this edge switch it on the post map again look at this what is the distance between this line and this line same as this original 50 correct hello yes sir yes sir right correct so what we want we wanted to create a uh, we wanted to create a equilateral triangle so from these two points the c point needs to be at a distance of 45 correct yes yes sir so what do we do yes sir we copy this a and b here So these two intersections will be definitely A and B. Now we wanted to move the point C, but we don't know at what inclination it is. So we will take a circle, right? We take a here 50, enter. We take a another circle from this B as a center point, 50, enter. So this is the intersection we get. We join this intersection. We will connect it to A. We will also connect it this intersection to B. So now we get the equilateral triangle. Now the question we delete this. Right? At what inclination the C needs to be? So we will project it, it for vertical Okay. Getting this? What we have to do? Yes, sir. Yes. So now, sir, you will explain the network network. Yes, sir. What is the isoscalar triangle that has length 50 and altitude 75? Right? And it appears as an equilateral triangle in the top view. It is mentioned. And one thing needs to be taken care of that. While it is equilateral triangle, the 50 mm side is still in the horizontal plane. So we draw this 50 first, then from the midpoint of the side we take 75, then we join A, B, C. So this is the isoscalar triangle we get. Now from the A, B we project it on the XY line, from the C we project in this XY line. Okay. So I not name this as XY. So just to show you, this is x, y. Okay. So this is our x point. This is our y point. Okay. So once we move it on the x, y, what we are going to get? We are going to get their projections, right? We get the A, B projected here, calling it as A dash, B dash. We get the C projected here, we call it as C dash. Now, we want that the equilateral triangle needs to be here. So, what is for equilateral triangle? All the sides same. So, this is 50. This needs to be 50. This needs to be 50. The question is, how do we get 50? For that, what we have done? We have drawn a circle from the projector which is obtained here. We draw this projector, then what we have done, we have copied this, copy this, right? We have taken the A dash, B dash, and we have placed it at suitable distance. Once we placed, we draw the vertical projector to intersect it, and then we copy the A and B to get the exact points. A will be this one, and B will be this one. Are you getting this? 
Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Now to locate the C, what we have done? To locate the C, we have taken this A dash and we have taken the radius of 50 and enter. Right? Then from the B point, we have taken 50. We can see that these two intersect here. From this intersection point, we have joined a line to A. And from the same intersection, we have line the joint to B. Okay. So now, once we have get this point, we deleted this. Correct. Now, what is the next thing? We need to find out. We got the top view, but we have not still got the what is the inclination which is made by the this plane with respect to the horizontal plane. So what we can do? We can take a circle having the A dash B dash as a center and C dash as a end point, which is nothing but a radius. Okay. Reading this. Hello. Yes, sir. So now we will join this. Instead of doing the rotation, we will directly join this intersection. Right. And we will delete this line. We will move this C dash from here. location this is c dash and we will make this line as tick. and we will delete this or we can trim it off for the trimming we trim this portion yeah so trimming sometimes is very tricky so I can break this line, break this object. Look at this, how to break. Select this, break at a point or breaking between the two points. This option is available and the modify. Select this. Something problem at my side. Okay, not happening. No worries. So now you get the angle mentioning how much it is 55 degree now select this match properties select this edge select this edge right we draw one more line between a b and then we can do the match properties for that edge okay in this way the problem is done okay So we wanted to find out this angle so that the isoscalar triangular plate is inclined in such a way that the top view looks as an equilateral triangle. So this was a reverse case which was given. Okay. Hope you understood this. Hello. Am I audible? Sir, I have understood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll stop now and I will record another questions and then we'll send you. Okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, sir and then when could you send the link?